Now coming to the classification. What is mild neurocognitive disorder? Here there is noticeable decline in cognitive function requiring adjustment to maintain independence in activities of daily living that extends beyond the normal changes of aging. This is mild neurocognitive disorder. What is major neurocognitive disorder? There is significant burden of cognitive impairment that results in impaired activity of daily living. Basically here you have to do some alteration to maintain your independence. Here independence is lost and you have to depend on somebody to take care of yourself to maintain the activities of daily living. Another way to put it, if it is deviated from 1 to 2 standard deviation from normal, it is mild neurocognitive disorder. If it is greater than 2 standard deviation, it is major neurocognitive disorder. A few words about delirium and postoperative cognitive dysfunction. Delirium is fluctuating changes in attention, level of consciousness, and even there is fluctuating changes in cognitive function. It happens acutely within hours to days. It is triggered by anesthesia and surgery when presenting 24 to 72 hours postoperatively. And most important is absence of alternative etiology. There is no specific causative factor for the delirium to happen. And the instance is roughly around 15 to 53 percent. It's quietly wide uh, incidence in older patient and 70 to 87 percent in critical care. In critical care, the postoperative delirium is even higher. And what is very important is delirium, you should always should not think it is an hyperactive state. It can be hypoactive also. In hyperactive, you can detect clinically because the patient is going to have psychomotor agitation, reduced inhibition and restlessness that threatens patient's own safety. But in hypo, it is underestimated because the patient may appear calm and only during examination are certain questions he might show signs of disorientation, inattention and reduce mobility. This hypoactive delirium is slightly difficult to diagnose. Now coming to postoperative cognitive dysfunction, the time frame unlike delirium remains undefined but it is usually detectable from 7 days after surgery. Here, it has multifactorial etiology. It can be emergence from anesthesia, patient sleep deprivation, severe pain, anxiety, use of multiple drug, inadequate nutrition, and postoperative or intraoperative complication. And in POCD, whenever you talk about POCD, you have to divide in non cardiac and cardiac patient. Why you have to do that? In cardiac, you have cardiopulmonary bypass which can independently contribute to POCD. So, whenever you talk about uh, POCD, you have to divide into cardiac and non-cardiac. Another important subdivision in POCD is elderly and young. Although it can affect patients of all age, if it comes in elderly population, it has profound sequelae.